Welcome to probably one of the most anticipated videos on this channel each year, and it is my best whiskey investment picks of 2023. My video from last year, the best in whiskey, whiskey investments of 2022, has just got over 37,000 views. So thank you to everybody who's watching this content. And if you're new to the channel, nice to meet you. Now, my name is Mark Littler. I'm a broker and market analyst. I also run marklittler.com. And if you're looking for old and rare whiskies, you can obviously go and buy them there. But in this video, I'm going to give you my three top picks for whiskey investments this year, priced between, you know, 300 and 1100 pounds each. So relatively affordable to the upper end of what most people would want to put away each year for an investment. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a recap on how the investments in my previous video are performing. So go through these first of all, and then let's go and see, you can watch and see how my picks from last year have performed. Now, for all of these bottles, if you're interested in buying them, there'll be links down below. We're not selling them on our website, but these are obviously all bottles that I've bought personally and are all in my personal collection for my son. Now, there's a few things that we need to sort of, uh, well, one thing that we need to touch on here as well. These are not flips, you know, flipping whiskey, it's like playing roulette. It's like spinning the wheel and deciding, oh, well, I'm gonna pick this bottle and see how well it does. These are not those types of investments. That's just flipping, that's arbitrage. These are bottles that I would argue, and I'll hopefully prove to you in this video, that are very good long-term investments. And if you're buying them for say your children, you've got young children, perfect. You buy them these and you wait 10, 15, 18 years for them to come of age and then they will be fully matured and a sensational investment. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into my first pick. So my first pick is priced at £320 at RRP, and it is the Macallan 18-year-old series. Now, we're relaunching this video in 2023, and the 2023 edition of the 18-year-old has not yet been released, but in some places you can still find the 2022 edition. We'll talk about this in a more, bit more detail, but it's an iconic bottle that almost needs no introduction but let's take a quick look at the bottle and the packaging in this so you can see all of the bottles come in this lovely black presentation case and on the front here you've got the age statement 18 years old and you've got the year that it was released in this case it's the 2022 release another good thing about this is that when you're putting them together so if you're buying other ones of these because the flat sides they all stack really neatly next to each other which is good if we take the bottle out of the box Again, it's a beautifully presented bottle, very elegant, very little changes each year on these bottles, but it's got the age statement and importantly, the year that this bottle was released. So they're very simple, but quite elegant packaging. But these bottles have got a long history. You know, the first iteration of the Macallan 18 year old series was launched in 1983 people, a very long time ago, 50 years ago, this series has been running. 50, 40 years it's been running, nearly. 40 years it's been running. The first one that was released was the 1965, 18 year old. Now, you may remember, cast your mind back to COVID, terrible time of year, but did you hear a story about a boy named Matthew Robson who had a collection of whiskey that his dad bought him every year for his birthday and then he sold it for 44,000 pounds and used the money to put a deposit down on a house? Well, that was a vertical of Macallan 18 year olds that was sold. How do we know that? Well, I was the broker, we were the brokers that brokered that sale. So we were the people that brought that collection to sale for Matthew Robson. And there's been a few changes over the years, nothing that will really affect your investment because you can't go back and change the past, but we'll probably do a bit more of an in-depth dive into the history of the 18 year old series on this channel in the future. So if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to get all the latest content about whiskey collecting and whiskey investment. Now. There are three reasons why this is a good investment, in my opinion. First of all, it's priced at £320 a bottle, which is, it's expensive for 18 year old whiskey. You can get cheaper 18 year old whiskey from other distilleries, but for Macallan, it's really good value. It's really well presented too. This is, this is a nice presentation for an 18 year old whiskey. Like I say, you can put the boxes next to each other. It looks and feels premium. And obviously, if you want to impress your friends, it's got the Macallan uh, branding on there as well. The second thing that I really love about this series is the fact that you can build a vertical of them. And a vertical is essentially where you're taking or you're buying the same type of bottle and you're buying every different vintage. So like the 2021, the 2022, the 2023, the 2024 they are commercial because if you can come to market with something that nobody else has, you know, look at all the auctions, everybody sells single bottles of these. 
almost no full verticals ever appear at auction. We've sold two of them now, one of them being for Matthew Robson, and they are very commercial. And that ties in to another point. If you're collecting whiskey or wanting to buy whiskey for your child or grandchild, it's a fantastic series. And I'm doing this for my son. He was born in 2018. So he's got a Macallan 18 year old vertical starting in at 2018 and all the way up to 2022 so far. And every year I'll go in and put an extra bottle in there and it's only 320 pounds. It's affordable, you can do it. The problem comes storing that because by the time he's 18, he's gonna have 18 bottles of whiskey, which I'm gonna to have to store somewhere for him, but that's a slight downside. Now, there is also a bonus with this 18 year old series in that there's a lot of historic auction data that proves that the 18 year old Macallan series has been a very good investment. Let's use a hypothetical situation and say that you started this project 18 years ago and you bought the 1987 release, which would have been the first bottle that came out when you were collecting 18 years ago. Well, that would be worth at auction now around £2,000. So you can see there's a really good price history for these bottles. Right, if you've got a little bit more money to spend, let's say that you've got about 900 pounds to spend on investment, what should you go and buy? Well, my choice is this, and that is the Glen Farkless 35 year old warehouse edition. It's a continuation of their warehouse range that started a couple of years ago. There's a 30 year old already and a 40 year old already. And they were part of my top whiskey investments of 2022. And again, if you hang around to the end of the video, you'll see how they, these bottles have performed. Now. This is a continuation of the range and it needs it's needless to say that this is a really well presented bottle. Inside this beautiful blue presentation case is the red wooden box and this red wooden box is a representation of the warehouse doors at the distillery. Slide open the little catch there, open the doors and there you've got a really beautifully presented 35 year old bottle of Glen Farkless. Now when we take the bottle out of the box it's a really nicely presented, it pulls out with that little ribbon there. And unusually, it's in a dark amber colored bottle. The amber glass actually helps preserve uh, things against UV light. So again, it's, it's not just a, a, a look thing, it does actually serve a purpose here. Now, it's a very simple, stylish presentation. It just says 35 years old on there. It's very similar to a lot of the other Glen Farkless bottlings, which arguably is to its detriment, but that is part of what happens at Glen Farkless. They're very much the OGs. They don't necessarily promote or condone investment on collecting. So they tend to try and do things more to the drinkers, but it's sensational presentation this. And again, very sort of same, uh, plain and simple on the back. Now, there are three things that make this a really good presentation uh, investment, in my opinion. And the first one, it's the bargain price. I mean, look at the price, people. It's just under 900 pounds. Look at the Springbank 30 year old that came out last year, and that was priced at £865 a bottle on release. So still about the same price as this 35 year old Glen Farkless, but it was just presented in a cardboard box. Now, that bottle now in the market is worth about £3,000. Three grand, it's gone from 865 to 3,000 pounds. Why? Well, because there's more collectors of Springbank than, than, than there is of Glen Farkless at the moment. But as you'll see in a couple of moments time, why this is changing and there's proof in the market that this is all changing too. Now, when you compare this to sort of other bottles as well, like let's say that you want to buy a Macallan 30 year old, well, that'll cost you 3,000 pounds on release. You know, this is really, really good value. I know it's hard to say for 30 odd year old whiskey and it's nearly a thousand pounds. It's very good value whiskey people. And you know, one of the criticisms that we got a lot in the comments for the last investment video was people saying that these bottles are not a limited edition, blah, 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 right? Well, yes, they are a limited edition. And I've spoken to Tim Webster at Paul Roger, they're the distributors, and they've confirmed that there's about 500 cases of the 35 year old available worldwide. So circa 3000 bottles. So it's exactly the same people as the Folio series, full video on that uh, series coming on this channel soon. But it's the same editions number roughly as the Folio series. The Folio series isn't marketed as a limited edition, but you know, everything is limited edition by its nature. But this is limited, confirmed by the retailer, the official distributor of saying there's 3000 bottles of this. Now, another criticism that people made of this in the last investment video was that they've got no dates on the bottles, blah, blah, blah. Well, yes, they have people. Now we'll put on a beautiful macro shot now of the, the bottle and on this bottle, you can see that it's got a bottling date. So you know which year that this was from, you know, we bought these obviously to 
towards the end of 2022. But you can kind of see here that they are, when you know where to look for these things, you can find them. And you don't need to be put off by things that are so obvious. You know, it doesn't have an obvious limited edition number. It is a limited edition, people. You might be put off by the fact that it's not got a bottling year on it. Don't be put off, people. It has. You need to understand that there's something bigger here. It's a 35-year-old whiskey, which is a significant age statement. And then the bonus, the fourth thing that makes this a really good investment, and this is a quote directly from Whiskey Stats. It's their March 2023 report that says, the auction price for many Glen Farkless releases soared this month. Over the past 12 months, no brand index has performed better than this Speyside Classic. The market is beginning to change. You can either be a leader or you can be a follower. You can wait for Glen Farkless to change in perception, like what happened to Springbank, and you can buy them now at a reasonably good price, or you can wait and wait for the market to shift and then go, oh yeah, I'm gonna follow where everyone else is going, by which point the prices will have changed and it won't be as good of an investment. So let's move on. This is the big money one. Well, it's not big money. It's about £1,100, which is still a lot for a bottle of whiskey. But I believe that there's a lot of whiskey and a lot of presentation for this money. And this is my final pick is this. It is the Lafroig Ian Hunter story. And this is the most up to date release. It's the fourth edition, the 34 year old. Now, like we'll come on to this. this. This is gorgeous presentation and there's a lot more hiding underneath this box. Now, the series honours the legacy of Ian Hunter, who was the last of the Johnston family to own and manage the, the Laphroaig distillery between 1908 and 1944. Now, the series started in 2019 with a 30-year-old. We're now on the fourth release, uh, which is a 34-year-old. Now, the presentation is sensational. So obviously, if you're going to put this on your shelf, it looks a bit like a book here. And then if you take out this book case, from inside it and open up the toggle. Here we go. You get your pages of the book or telling you all about the difference of, you know, talking about the history of the Laphroaig distillery essentially. And then finally, when you turn this final page over, you get that amazing presentation of the bottle concealed in the book. So it's, let's pull the bottle out. It's on a ribbon tag again, like that Glen Farkless. This isn't like a real false book in terms of there's not pages all the way through. It's just a plastic box for it. But come on, that is sensational and really good presentation. The bottle here, very simple, very elegant. Gilt embossed here, 34 years old, and it's bottled at 46.2%. It's a really nice, simple but refined bottling. And of course, this is a 34 year old. This is the last one that's going to bear the warrant for HRH, the Prince of Wales, because obviously as of the coronation, well, as of last year, he is the King of England now. So will it be interesting to see what happens with the Royal Warrant? Will Charles continue to give the Lafroy Distillery the Royal Warrant? We hope so, but then that'll be interesting to see what changes. But anyway, look, there are three really good reasons why this is going to be a great investment. Well, the obvious one is the presentation. I mean, look at it. It's kind of a cross between the Macallan Folio series, which is £350, and the Tales of the Macallan, which is sort of £70,000, £80,000. This is just gorgeous. Like, this is just gorgeous. The way that this is all presented as a packaging project is really, really good. And yes, the pages don't go all the way through, but I believe this and the slipcase make it a really interesting set. Because it's like a leatherette finish or it's all embossed in gilt and with metal inserts on it, you know, you can put these on display on your shelves and they would look good. I think they would look better than a, uh, than a folio series because the metal on the folio series tins is susceptible to chips and all sorts, whereas this is just going to get scuffed at worst. So really, really, really awesome presentation. The other factor with this is that it's very high age statement whiskey. This is 34 year old Lafroig. Lafroig is a very sought after Isla distillery with, and you either love it or hate it, but it's a big, big, big brand. Now, if you take a look at the 30 year old Cartus, I think it's pronounced, or Cartus uh, uh, release, that's a 30 year old whiskey. It was an addition of 1500 bottles and sells for upwards of 2000 pounds. This is still available at retail for what you can buy it at auction people. If you shop around, you can buy this at retail for cheaper than what you can buy it at auction. And there's been some crazy auction results for this, which we'll put on screen now. Now, have you noticed as well with this video that there's a bit of a theme to my recommendations? 
I like things that you can build into collections. Now, this is the fourth edition of this series. So obviously, if you've got a grand 1500 pounds to spend this year, buy this one. And then maybe if you get some more money later in the year or next year, well, you either buy the newest one or you can buy the older releases and build up a full collection. And they state that it's gonna be a 15 bottle series. So yeah, you're gonna need a big shelf if you're gonna put all of these 15 bottles on display, but it's gonna make a really beautiful presentation if you do go to that effort. Now, this is where it gets interesting because we get to review my top picks from last year. The, the video came out about a year ago. You'll see it on the channel. And again, if you're enjoying this, give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our newest content. Now, my three top picks last year included a 25-year-old limited edition Glen Farkless. It was 25-year-old bottling. It was a limited edition of 600 bottles and it was £350 at the time of the video going live. And it was still available at retail when the video went out. One of those bottles has just sold at auction for £1,300. So that's a 229% growth in a year. It's not bad, you know, and, and keep going because this is where the video gets a bit weird. The other two releases, the, 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 the other two ones that I recommended was the Glen Farkless 30 year old warehouse edition and the Glen Farkless 40 year old warehouse editions. Now, they don't say on the bottles that they're a limited edition, but we've now had it confirmed by Tim at Port Roger that they are limited editions. It's just that it's not stated on there. Now, the 30 year old just sold at auction for £575. So that's up 22% in a year. You know, it's not a lot of money. It's only £100. But when you look at the numbers, 22% growth on that investment is pretty good. And I still feel it's undervalued at that. That is still less than half the price of that 25 year old, even though it's an old age statement. Now, where it gets weird is when you look at the 40 year old. Now the 40 year old was a little bit more expensive and one just sold at auction for 1,200 pounds. So that's obviously not seen a huge amount of growth, about 5% growth. But these, first of all, First thing to know, all these recommendations, like I said in the start of the video, these are long-term holds. These are not bottles to buy and flip. These are bottles to buy and invest for your future. But what's ironic here is that the 25-year-old age statement, the 25-year-old bottling, is worth more than the 40-year-old bottling, which, you know, if you're looking at this from a whiskey investment point of view, people will say that the whiskey matters. You know, the 25-year-old should not be worth as much as the 40-year-old but the market has chosen otherwise. Now, I believe this is coming from sort of like two ways, and there's two ways to look at this. There's perhaps the market isn't educated enough. Maybe the market is too focused on limited editions and this, that, and the other. They're, they're missing the key things, the fundamental aspects that prop up the valuations of these bottles. Like high age statement whiskey is exponentially scarcer than low age statement whiskey. But it's bizarre that the youngest whiskey, the cheapest bottle in our video last year, is the one that's done the most performance. 522% was it? 229% growth, 229% growth in just under a year, which is crazy. 22% for the 30 year old isn't bad. 5% for the 40 year old, I still think it's undervalued and I still think both of those warehouse collections are a must buy. So there we have it. That's my top three investment picks of 2023. And if you want to watch the other video, we'll put it on screen for you now.